Uh, remember, this is why in the morning and Mondays are for motivation. Due to that matter, we have Mr. Roy Haemba, Head of Department uh, Media, Arts and Design at the ZTEC uh, University, here with us uh, just to share some insight. If you are planning to get into a career or get out of one and get into another, this is a conversation you should be listening to. Uh, remember, we are on social media. Uh, our handles are always right there below the screen. So let's get straight into it. Karibu sana, Mr. Roy. Asante sana. All right. Yeah. Uh, so uh, I've been really looking forward to this, Mr. Roy, because mm -hmm. uh, um, a lot of uh, people are masquerading as mentors, and uh, I'd like to know the difference. I've always wanted to know the difference between mentors and motivational speakers, because people uh, don't get the difference most of the time. This is the first thing I'd like you to address for us today. Okay, thank you so much for mm -hmm. that particular question. As you heard, my name is Mr. Roy Haemba, mm -hmm. and I'm the head of department uh, uh, Zetek University, that mm -hmm. is specifically the Media Arts and Design Department. Mm -hmm. I think usually there is a very thin line that's usually drawn between a motivational speaker and mentor. Mm -hmm. When it comes to a motivational speaker, if I may start with that, it's basically someone who will come mm -hmm. and probably pick a certain aspect of life, just probably just maybe one area of life. Mm -hmm. And then at the end of the day, they are going to talk about it, they're going to encourage you, they're going to inspire you, they're going mm -hmm. to give you all the issues in that one particular aspect of life. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to mentorship, mentorship is wholesome. Mm -hmm. Mentors mentorship is broad. Mm -hmm. Mentorship is it's, it's huge. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, if I'm going to mentor you in a particular thing, mm -hmm. then I'm going to take like the, I'm, I'm going to walk you already from the baby the steps. Yeah, it's, the not it's, it's, it's not a two hour it's session. It's not a two hour session. It's not a three hour session. Three hour session. <laughs> it's more or less like a lifetime. It's a lifetime. It's a lifetime. Uh, mentorship is, 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 a, is a lifetime thing. It's a lifetime thing. Uh -huh. That at the end of the day, that when I've, when I've seen you that you've taken your steps mm -hmm. and you can be able to stand on your own, mm -hmm. then that's what you call mentorship. But when you talk about motivational speaking, motivational issues, uh -huh. it's something that I see, oh, probably Barry is just down. Mm -hmm. Let me go and talk to him about this particular issue mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and then that once buried that particular issue is off uh, mm -hmm. he's off on the hook then i as a motivational speaker then i've also gone the other way uh -huh. but in mentorship i walk with you right from Through the beginning the yeah, journey yeah. right from the beginning yes yes all right yes. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, i'm quite interested in your background you're very uh, <laughs> you you're very knowledgeable in this world uh, what is your background in education uh basically my background is uh, journalism mm -hmm. uh, more or less like communication mm -hmm. and uh, again that's where people don't do through the draw an exact line between journalism and communication but mm -hmm. i like to look at myself as a combination of both of them mm -hmm. because at the end of the day it's all about uh, communication it's all about ensuring that at the end of the day whatever it is that is happening in the society mm -hmm. that people get to know about it mm -hmm. that myself i am I am, I am a diploma holder uh -huh. in broadcast journalism from uh -huh. the Kenya Institute of Mass Communication. Mm -hmm. I was there from the year 2001 to 2003. Mm -hmm. That's a while back. Uh, yeah, it's quite a while uh -huh. back, yeah. Uh, but uh, you've done well for yourself. Yeah, head, of head of department. Uh, I remember yeah. back in the day, heads mm -hmm. of department mm -hmm. were very, very senior people in mm -hmm. terms of age. In terms of uh, age, But yeah. you've really done well for okay, yourself. Thank, you. thank mm -hmm. you. And that's why I want to do that. When people look at me and mm -hmm. they look at me and they say, hey, that guy is the head of department at ZTEC University. Mm -hmm. And I think I can also make, make it. Uh -huh. And that's what I'm talking about mentorship. Uh -huh. No, looking at someone and then say that, yes, I can also make it. Uh -huh. And that's why even and the owners also lies on us, we as mentors. At mm -hmm. the end of the day, how do we portray ourselves? Mm -hmm. Do we portray ourselves in a manner that people will wish to say that, yes, I also want to be with be you. Like this I want person. to be like this person. Uh -huh. And then at the end of the day, they can also say that, yes. I've also made it. Oh, yeah. Right. yeah. So after a diploma in journalism at the Kenya Institute of Mass Communication, uh, what was next for you? Yeah, after diploma, as far as uh, my studies are concerned, mm -hmm. I did join Jomo Kenyatta University mm -hmm. of Agriculture and Technology, mm -hmm. uh, JQUAT, mm -hmm. uh, in around uh, 2013 there. Mm -hmm. And then I did my degree in mass communication. I remember it was a BS, BSC, mm -hmm. uh, mass communication. Mm -hmm. And then I thought that probably I can also venture a little bit, something mm -hmm. a little bit different, but still within the same room. Uh, still within communication. Yeah, still within communication. Mm -hmm. And I did public relations. All right. Yeah, so that at least I can have 
my footing in public relations, I have my footing also in broadcast journalism, mm -hmm. because I wish to be all round. Uh -huh. So at the end of the day, so when I'm mentoring you, uh -huh. okay, I can tell you that you see, life is all about being all round. So at the end of the day, you can't not, you don't just be in a position or by that. And, and it's something that also you usually tell my students mm -hmm. that you must be somebody who is all round. All right. So that uh, if an opportunity comes for broadcast journalism, you can grab it because you have it. All an right. opportunity comes out for public relations, you can grab it uh -huh. because you, they can uh, you have it. They can anyway. <laughs> all right. I do really like that. Yeah, so uh, so. Uh, the internet or social media has made communication uh, quite easy right now mm -hmm. uh, and i'm not talking communication in the professional yes, aspect yes, of yes, it yes, uh, just yes. communicating uh, sending a message to your loved ones mm -hmm, uh, sure. uh, telling a story that is happening in your village mm -hmm. uh, before uh, one minute it, we already know it in Nairobi. like the internet has already has made communication uh, quite easy mm -hmm. it has brewed uh, bedroom media houses as well mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. we are having mm -hmm. guys building jo journalism careers f on the internet mm -hmm. from learning on youtube and just using their phones mm -hmm. people are forgetting the importance of the educational aspect mm -hmm. please remind us what is it uh, what is the importance of having this educational uh, part of journalism now that communication is quite easy and anybody can be a journalist from anywhere what is the importance of having this uh, educational aspect of it training the training part I like your term, the bedroom journalist. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> so, at the end of the day, yeah. uh, whether you are talking about uh, even training yourself, because I know the internet truly has done marvelous, uh -huh. and people can be able to do various things for wherever they are, and almost in quotes, mm -hmm. they don't even have to step in classrooms. Mm -hmm. But we can't just bury our heads in the sand and then say that the internet is here and is going to do everything that mm -hmm. we need to do. My, my take on this that we need still not go back to school mm -hmm. because of professionalism. Mm -hmm. When you go back to school, you're going to get the ethics, mm -hmm. you're going to get the morals, mm -hmm. you're going to get to know exactly what is it that I'm supposed to be doing. Mm -hmm. Because when you're doing it yourself outside of there, the excitement mm -hmm. is going to be big. Yes, uh -huh. I know it. I can be able now to go outside there. Uh -huh. But again, you're forgetting about the issues of copyright. Uh -huh. You're forgetting about the issues of ethics. Uh -huh. You're forgetting about the issues of law. Uh -huh. So at the end of the day, who is the person who's going to teach you this? Uh -huh. Yes, I can teach myself photography, but uh -huh. who is the person going to teach me law? Uh -huh. I can teach myself photography, uh -huh. but who is the person going to teach me about right. ethics? And every yeah. career has to be practiced in the bounds yes, yes. of the law mm. and, uh, and uh, the rules that govern it. Yes. All right. So so uh, we still need to be professional. It's very important to take it back to school. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, as a mentor, uh, what are some of the most important things uh, that you look at when you're picking uh, talent? Because I know you can't mentor everyone. You can't mentor everyone. Yes. I'm looking at commitment. Uh -huh. I'm looking at passion. Mm -hmm. I am looking at somebody who at the end of the day will say that I am a go-getter. Mm -hmm. I won't go and get this thing, mm -hmm. regardless of whatever situation that I am in. Mm -hmm. uh, it will be interesting for you to know that I mentored Robinson of Kenya, uh -huh. and also I mentored uh, Mohamed Hussein of KTN, uh -huh. they were my, stu my, my students uh -huh. at Zitek University. Mm -hmm. And when I look at, for example, Robinson of Kenya, mm -hmm. it's somebody whom that at every other particular time mm -hmm. will come and tell me, hey, Malimo, I need a camera to go and shoot this. Uh -huh. I need to write this, check out for me. You know, that's the kind of commitment uh -huh. that we're talking about. Okay. That's the kind of passion that mm -hmm. we're talking about. The end of the days, I'm going to mentor you and then you don't feel like, I don't, I don't, I don't feel the passion in mm -hmm. you. I don't feel the commitment in you. Mm -hmm. It's going to be very, very difficult mm -hmm. for me to mentor you. I'm not, saying, I'm not saying that I'm going to leave you. Okay? <laughs> but the <laughs> but passion but, has but, to come but, from but where the passion there. must come from mm -hmm. with it because I cannot push you uh -huh. Especially in this profession of ours, when it uh, journalism, uh -huh. you know, I cannot push you to write. Uh -huh. I cannot push you to, to read. To, to, to read. Uh -huh. I cannot push you to hold a camera. Uh -huh. Okay. So the passion must come from you. When something has happened outside of there, because you have passion, you are going to come and say that mm -hmm. this is what has happened. But I'll tell you, go and tell the world. Uh -huh. How do you tell the world? Go and write. Uh -huh. You're talking about the internet a short while ago. Uh -huh. Go and put it on the internet. Uh -huh. Let people get understand it. Mm -hmm. Let people know it. All yeah. right. Mm -hmm. And build stories that have impact. Yes, yes. Which is really lacking mm. in this community as mm. we speak. So many mm. people are focusing 
on uh, humor, making people laugh. Mm -hmm. uh, so many people are focusing on uh, being famous. Mm -hmm. uh, we, uh, we are not getting the stories like back in the day uh, mm -hmm. where we used to get stories that have impact. You're exposed to certain cultures within your country that you didn't know about. You're exposed to, uh, to corruption scandals. <laughs> we are not having stories uh, that have impact as much as we used to have them. So many people that are producing content online are there for being famous, entertaining mostly. Uh, what went wrong? I think the, 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 the hurry or the hype, mm -hmm. the urge, mm -hmm. the greediness, mm -hmm. if I may use that word, mm -hmm. okay? of wanting to get the fame immediately mm -hmm. okay that you do not want to take your time to go and research a good story mm -hmm. at the end of the day it's going to be put on air mm -hmm. and you're going to ensure that people are going to enjoy it mm -hmm. i get something i get something and then immediately i want mm -hmm. to roll it out mm -hmm. even without taking time to look at it taking time to research on it mm -hmm. taking time to look for information mm -hmm. taking time to look at probably who are my sources mm -hmm. so at the end of the day that you are just rushing and then putting that particular uh, piece putting that particular story then mm -hmm. You just because you just want that fame to come out of you. Mm -hmm. If it's a print media, you want your name to appear there. Uh -huh. Yes, uh -huh. that my name is appearing in the uh -huh. newspaper today. Yes, but when you look at the content or whatever it is that you have uh -huh. done, it's really wanted. Uh -huh. Yes, you want to appear on TV. Uh -huh. Okay, that yes, I was the one who was reporting today uh -huh. the lunchtime news. But on what KBC did you so, say on TV? So what really did you say uh -huh. on TV? So. Uh, to me, it goes all back into ensuring that let's take time. Uh -huh. Let's take time to do whatever it is that mm -hmm. we are researching on. Let's take time mm -hmm. to write whatever it is that you want to write. And at the end of the day, it, it has to be something that is passionate. Mm -hmm. Something that somebody is going to look at it. Somebody mm -hmm. is going to read at it. It can also be read today, tomorrow, and also forever. Mm -hmm. that, that yes. I watched that documentary. Timeless documentary. Yes, it's a, a timeless, timeless article. It was a timeless documentary. It was a timeless article uh -huh. that people can read and say that yes. I right. got something from this. In as much as it was written five years ago, uh -huh. but I still can get something of it. Right, so time yeah. is a very important aspect and mm -hmm. research is also a very important yes, aspect yes, in yes. whatever you're doing. In whatever it's you're not doing. only in journalism yes. and communication. Yes, yes. All right, mm -hmm. arts and design are still under your department. Yes, yes, yes. And yes. Uh, from what you told me, you were in Kenya Mass in 2001. Yes, yes, I'm guessing yes. you were in primary school when uh, people were still <laughs> studying home science, uh, art, yes, yes. Uh, art and craft. Yeah. You uh, music you need to need used to need a lot right? yes primary, and the rest yeah. of them. all right <laughs> oh, so you you've seen it all you've seen the generation that studied art and the generation that uh, meet art for the first time in campus if you get what I'm saying yes, yes I'm getting right. what I'm saying. so uh, what are some of the effects you have seen uh, of scrapping some of these art courses in primary school and and, and high school the loss of creativity, mm -hmm. okay? At the end of the day, when you're scrapping exactly what you used to do in primary, we used to, we, we used to model with clay. Mm -hmm. We used to knit. Uh -huh. uh, we used to do paper mache. Uh -huh. We used to create things uh -huh. on the side. No, that, with that, your hands. With our hands. Uh -huh. That aspect of the hands-on skills uh -huh. is what is being eroded on today. Uh -huh. But I think a lot of it nowadays has gone back to the internet. Uh -huh. That somebody will just come up with a software uh -huh. that's going to do the art uh -huh. for him or her. For you. Okay. okay. So at the end of the day, uh -huh. you're not really uh, taking your issues, your skills, uh -huh. the way you're going to model them exactly from the grassroots, from uh -huh. scratch. Uh -huh. So the, the link that we have lost, uh -huh. whatever it is that we have lost today, is creativity. Uh -huh. Okay. We used, to be that, we used to be that creative. Uh -huh. We used to, 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 to dirty ourselves. Uh -huh. And in that dirtying ourselves, at the end of the day, there's a we, creation, that, there's has a creation that is coming out of uh -huh. whatever it is that and we have done. And an for experience that for that matter. That up to date, we're still holding it in our uh -huh. hands. Up to date, we're still holding that particular skill in our hands. Mm -hmm. Today, if, if, if a button was to come out of my, my <laughs> You shirt, can do it yourself. I can do it myself. <laughs> but, uh, but this but, generation but, but this has generation, to take it to I, mama. I, 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 I bet, I bet, <laughs> I bet if, if they can be able to do that. So, yeah, <laughs> All right. Yeah. So it's mm. very important to incorporate uh, most of these things mm -hmm. uh, during early childhood development. Mm -hmm. We agree. Yes, yes, yes. All right. It's quite important. I, I yeah. hope it's in one of the mm. manifestos in, in 2020. I, mean, I hope so. And <laughs> the person will not have that in their manifesto. I'm going it, to run again. All right, all right. All right. <laughs> and thank you very much for that one. How is the corona situation uh, treating you guys at ZTEC? 
Um, I can say that the current situation, uh, we really didn't get the impact as such uh -huh. because immediately, actually in, 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 at Zita University, we are saying we never closed. Uh -huh. The only thing that changed uh -huh. was the mode of study. Uh -huh. like, uh, yeah, we've never closed. All right. Okay. So it's technology has really technology come in. Really come in. Uh -huh. Immediately we changed the mode of study to, uh -huh. to online. Uh -huh. Okay. We ensured that each and every student uh -huh. who was in class was face to face uh -huh. has been translated smoothly uh -huh. into the online platform. All and right. also we did the exams through online. There was a lot of skepticism uh -huh. that how will we do our, our exams online? Uh -huh. That we are going to copy and every such. We're aware of all those things. Uh -huh. So at the end of the day, we are preparing these particular students uh -huh. to ensure that they are going to do the exams online. Uh -huh. We also have our own background checks. Uh -huh. you, have, you have set up a yeah, committee. You set up <laughs> a committee of specialists. Yes, yeah, of specialists uh -huh. to ensure that everything goes on well. So as far as, uh -huh. as, as Corona is concerned and ZTEC, uh -huh. it is a matter of just transitioning. Uh -huh. Yeah. We from, need to adapt. You need to an adapt. An idea whose time has okay, come. An idea who has come. <laughs> we cannot stop it. As uh -huh. a train that has left the station, uh -huh. it cannot be stopped. It has to go. It has and to go are, to the destination. We are, we are going on well. Uh -huh. We are soldiering on well. Uh -huh. At Zita University, uh -huh. we are okay. Uh -huh. And everything is... In, in fact, so we did the graduation with some of the students. Graduated okay? online. They graduated online. And some uh -huh. of the students who graduated online are uh -huh. the students who were in the last semester before uh -huh. COVID attacked. Right. So you can imagine if we could have sat back and then we say, uh -huh. ah, let us wait and see when they're going to open. We could not have the graduation that this we had. Is, yeah. Do you think this is the future of education right there? Definitely. Definitely. The person who is going, not going to embrace the internet. Uh -huh. Of course, it has its own positives and negatives. Uh -huh. The person who Just like any other thing. Just like any other thing. Uh -huh. The person who is not going to embrace the internet positively, uh -huh. then they are bound to be left behind. Yeah. This is the way to go now. Uh -huh. Okay, We have experienced it. Actually, today when I was coming here for the interview, I, I was asking myself uh -huh. that it appears a lot of the public universities uh -huh. students, uh -huh. actually even I have one student uh -huh. in one of the public universities who was complaining to me, actually they want now to come to Zitek University and continue their studies, uh -huh. that since COVID attacked in March uh -huh. up to now, nothing has happened no so, communication whatsoever no communication no classes is ongoing and yet look at us at ZTEC. Uh -huh. as i'm telling you we just changed the mode uh -huh. okay the students who were in their last semester uh -huh. okay before covid attacked they were able to do their last semester online they were able that to do wonderful. the exams that is wonderful right there adapting yeah. to new times adapting uh, to new times thank you very much thank mr you. head of department thank as you, we you. as we wrap up this uh, conversation uh, what do you think is, uh, is the future of Kenyan media in terms of regulation? Because right now, uh, it's a mess. <laughs> I know that in the media, we usually talk about the aspect of self-regulation. Mm -hmm. okay? And also, there is the aspect of probably government mm -hmm. regulation. I think to me, if I were to go sp specifically the, 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 the route of self-regulation, mm -hmm. we will be cheating ourselves. You cannot spouse yourself. Uh -huh. <laughs> and, at, and at the same time... <laughs> test and prove it. Yes, test and prove it. Okay? <laughs> right. and, and at the same time, uh -huh. also, if you say that we go the government way, uh -huh. what about if you get a rogue government? Uh -huh. So for me, I'll say that the two entities, uh -huh. okay, we're talking about self-regulation and uh -huh. government regulation, mm -hmm. probably need to sit down. Uh -huh. And then we look at a common ground mm -hmm. that at the end of the day, we are going to come up with something mm -hmm. that is going to help us to re regulate the media. Mm -hmm. And then the media for today, the media for tomorrow mm -hmm. is going to be a media that is respectful. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a media that you know, it's making, it's, it's creating stories, uh -huh. as we said earlier on, that are, 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 are not even town bound as such. Uh -huh. Issues that are going to be broadcasted by the today's media are uh -huh. issues that are pertinent to the society issues that who are going is to going to regulate me on my instagram page i'm uh, <laughs> uh, everybody's a journalist now as i said quote everybody unquote. is a, everybody and that's, and that's who's what, going to regulate saying, that, that instagram saying, page aspects the aspects of media council uh -huh. Government through parliament uh -huh. okay they need to sit down uh -huh. and then they come up with legislations I know the government has the capability of doing it if they meet it. Uh -huh. Also the media council, they have the capability of doing it if they meet it. Uh -huh. So the two bodies, uh -huh. let the media council represent the people in the media. Uh -huh. 
let government probably through parliament and uh -huh. the minister of ICT, uh -huh. Honorable Mshiru, uh -huh. they come in and then they show that they meet at a common ground, uh -huh. at a common table, uh -huh. and then they come up with these particular issues uh -huh. that they're going to help uh -huh. in regulating the, the, the media. So that even in your Instagram, uh -huh. okay, let us find a way. I know we can find a way <laughs> to regulate. It's, it's, what only, I say? That, it's uh -huh. only that we do not want to find to that particular that. way. Yeah. All right, we are probably enjoying yeah. our freedom of thank speech <laughs> while we can. But thank yeah. you very much for thank coming you. through uh, to in the morning. If somebody uh, would like to be a member of your class or just uh, uh, get some mentorship from you, how can they get a hold of you? Your camera is number four. And uh, I'll probably prefer your email because uh, the person who goes an extra mile to write you an email is a serious person. So oh, okay. I just give them your email on uh, that camera right there mm -hmm. as we proceed. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you so much. I was happy to be here. As again, my name is Roy Haemba, head of department uh, at Zitech University, specifically media arts and design. I'm located at, um, for those who want to come physically, we are located at uh, Thika Super Highway, um, just before the turn to Ruiru, uh, Ruiru town. And my email address is roy.haemba. Haemba is K H A E M B A at ZTEC University at, at ZTEC.ac.ke. Just bring that back again. So end, yeah. Just in case they are writing down yeah. so they get it right. Okay, <laughs> my email address is roy.haemba at ZTEC.ac.ke. Thank you very much, Thank Mr. You. Roy Hamba. I'm looking forward to amazing more conversations with you Thank because you. this industry seems to be evolving Thank every you. day. Thank you. Thank you. Thank <laughs> we'll you. be having a conversation. Thank you. Uh, something to talk about all the time. Sana sana. Sana sana. All right, we have come Thank to the end of this interview right here. We still have another one uh, that is quite insightful as well. If you happen to love anything about it or, uh, or have any question about this one, head straight to our social media handles. They're always right there below the screen. Uh, Facebook, Y254. Twitter, Y254. Y254 channel, uh, Instagram Y254 underscore channel. If anybody would like to see this again, we are going to be having it on YouTube at Y254 channel as well. We are streaming live on Daily Motion. The link is on our bio on every uh, social media platform. And my name is Barry Moses, or it's Barry Moore on social media. Don't touch that up.